welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a pick a card reading. We are asking who will you marry? So if you are new to pick a card readings, go ahead and just pick one group. Pick the group that speaks to you the most, the one that stands out to you, the one that sparks your intuition. Go ahead and pick the very first group that stands out to you, not the second or the third. The very first one that catches your attention, that is the group for you. Once again, we are asking, who will you marry? So I have five groups for you to choose from. This is group one, group two, group three, group four, and group five. So go ahead and take a second to pick one of the five groups. Pause if you need, and we will go ahead and get started with group number one. All right, so we have group number one. You chose the selenite. Let's see who you will marry. So we have the Popes, also known as the Empress. 32, South Node, Sixth House, the Scribe, and Sensuality. So first off, because we have the Empress, this person may be a Taurus. Also, this person, because we have the 32 card, they may also be a life path five or born on a five day. Because this is the two in the major arcana and because we have 32, two might also be a significant number. Because on the sensuality card, we have 21 as well. Overall, it is likely this person is someone who has a lot of earthy qualities. So this is someone who is probably material focused, they're probably very grounded, they're probably responsible, they're probably dependable and probably loyal. Um, at the same time, they are someone who is very sexual. We have the five here and we also have the sensuality. So they are someone who is very passionate, they're very expressionate with their love. They're definitely someone who brings out your or who will bring out your sexual side as well there's someone who you will enjoy getting affection from there's someone who you will be really attracted to there will be a lot of romance in this relationship also because we have the number five there also may be a lot of travel in this relationship this may be someone who you go far distances with this is a person who also may be very intelligent so they are someone who is likely to be a writer or they may enjoy reading a lot or they find some way to always be taking in information or putting it out because we have the scribe card they are someone who is very intellectual very knowledgeable and they know a lot they could even be a little bit of a know-it-all and they are definitely someone who at times one of their shadow sides could be definitely manipulating stories or you know falsifying truths to really twist things to be their way. So that's one thing that could come up with this person. Um, also because we have the two card, this person could have very feminine energy about them regardless of what their gender is. This person could be very emotionally expressive. They could be very into showing them their love in a physical sense. So they might not be someone who is very good at expressing themselves verbally they may be someone who is more prone to show their love through a physical form or a physical touch they may be also feel more comfortable writing their feelings so they may be someone who actually prefers you know maybe texting rather than talking they have a hard time having that one-on-one -on -one connection and really expressing themselves the one thing that you need to be careful of when you with this person is because we have the south node it is likely that this person is a karmic relationship for you so this person is coming into your life to teach you key soul lessons so this relationship is one that is really going to bring up old karmatic wounds they're going to bring up old soul lessons they're going to bring out things that you need to conquer and overcome they're really going to be propelling your soul forward to your highest path because they're going to be bringing out issues and lessons that you need to overcome because we have the sixth house you may also meet this person at work you may work with this person this person may also be someone you meet at a time when you are transitioning your lifestyle you could meet them maybe if you start 
start doing a new physical routine maybe you meet them at the gym or you're running and you run into them or something like that because the sixth house rules Virgo it's gonna be something in your daily routine so you could just be going about your daily business and they just randomly pop up and you meet them and you are very connected to them and you are instantly attracted to them and so this person is someone who is going to catch your attention they're going to draw you in they're going to be very very appealing to you you're going to really love what like you're really going to want to give them a lot of affection you're going to want to give them a lot of attention so overall group one the person that you're going to marry is going to be very earthy very sensual very loving they may not always be good at verbally expressing their feelings but they will be good at giving you affection and they will be good at giving you attention you may meet them at work you may meet them in your daily life you may meet them at a time when you are switching your routine so group one if you like this reading and you'd like to see more pick cards for me go ahead and give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you want to let me know what you thought subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time for your next reading thank you so much all right group number two you chose the black tourmaline quartz so let's find out who you will marry all right so first off, the person you might marry might be a Taurus, so they might have a Taurus sun, moon, or rising, or have other Taurus planets. They may also be a life path eight or born on an ink day because we do have the 35 card. Overall, this person is someone who is going to be very attractive to you. They're going to be very appealing to you. So, of course, we have the beauty card and we have Taurus, which, of course, is ruled by Venus. So, this is someone who is going to be very, very appealing to you. And because we have the sun card, they're going to catch your attention. They are going to be bright. And you are going to feel like when they come into your life that they really bring... A new brightness a new spark you feel like they bring you energy and vitality maybe this person is also very charismatic maybe they're very dramatic they are very attention grabbing because we have the Sun card they may be a Leo um, but regardless they're very much about self-expression joking around they may like to have fun in life they may like to be romantic they could also be in touch with their inner child and of course the sun is also about attainment so this person may also be very successful they may be someone who is after all the abundance in life so the sun is not just of course about material and work and career success but it is also about a happy marriage so this person that you're going to marry it is actually going to work out quite beautifully and be quite happy for you because we have the Sun card which is a signifier of a happy marriage and also an abundant life so this is emotional abundance physical abundance material abundance it's abundance all around because we have beauty and we have Taurus there is an element of sexual appeal so you will have that in the real in the relationship and because we have 35 which is an eight it is likely that this is a failed meet this is karmic and that you are meant to meet each other and also because we have the teacher card this person may be someone who is obviously because we also have the sun they may be someone who works with kids they may already have kids of their own they may be someone who is very motive but motivated by kids but also because we have the teacher card they are someone who is very interested in knowledge and they're very interested more so in sharing their knowledge like how can they teach others and really share their knowledge and make a difference to others and the teacher card the only dark side with this would maybe thinking that they always know best so this person may be kind of stubborn they may think that they know better than you all the time and you may get kind of frustrated with that because they think that because they know so much that they don't really need other people's opinions and that may become frustrating to you sometimes but overall i get the sense that this is a very happy match and because we have the eighth house you may meet this person when you're going through a time of transformation and change 
change it. And so you may be going through a time when you're changing your mental habits, maybe something drastic is happening in your life. Eighth house also rules our shared resources. Uh, eighth house could also be, you know, a time when maybe you meet this person during a breakup. Maybe you meet this person in a divorce. Maybe you meet this person when you're going through a major change in what your life is and how it goes. And so for you, this relationship is also going to have an element of transformation. And so this relationship is going to come in and maybe take you by surprise a little bit, but it is going to be something that is actually pretty solid and steady and actually works out pretty good because Taurus is reliable. Taurus is that earth sign, right? And because we have the sun and we have the and we have Taurus and we have eighth house, which Eighth house rules are resources that have to do with others and Taurus rules the second house which are the things that we own and Sun of course is about abundance. This is likely an abundant relationship and we have eight which has to do with money. So this may be a relationship that brings you a lot of financial abundance. It may be a relationship where you guys are maybe a little work focused. Maybe you bring affluence into each other's lives. But overall, group two, that is who you are going to be marrying. So let me know what you thought about this reading. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you like this reading and you want to see more pick a cards from me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for your next reading. All right, group number three, you chose the Aragonite. Let's find out who you're going to marry. So right off the bat, the person that you will marry might be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or have other Cancer placements. They may also be a life past six or born on a sixth day. But overall, the person that you marry is really going to be someone who emotionally shakes you up. So this is someone who is really going to get deep down in your feelings and maybe stir some emotions up that haven't been felt and touched for a long time. Of course, Cancer is the ruler of the moon, which rules our subconscious. And we have the Exorcist card here as well. So this card is really about getting in and cleansing out those dark, deep demons, cleansing out our dark side. So this relationship may be something that really brings out your shadow side. This relationship may have an element of a mirror effect. This relationship may trigger you. It may bring out old wounds. And because of this, this relationship has the potential to be very healing for you. This relationship is something that can clear out those old wounds around love that you have. And I, because we have the trust card, it is likely that you have issues surrounding trust. And so this person is going to be someone that you feel like you could actually give your heart to. You feel like this person is someone you can actually feel secure with. You feel like this person is someone you can actually trust. And it's because this person isn't afraid to be emotionally open open with you. This person is very able to be vulnerable with you and they're able to show you unconditional and true love. And that may be something that you don't really feel like you have felt before. And so for you, this relationship is really teaching you what true love is all about. And so this marriage for you is really going to be about family, about setting the foundation, about really opening up your heart chakra, really getting in tune with your emotions, really finding your true identity and releasing those old wounds and what's really holding you back and so because we have the world card here this relationship is really going to open you up to new possibilities because this relationship is going to come through and help wipe out all those old ways of being all those self-defeating habits and because this relationship is going to help you look at yourself in a new light this relationship is really going to open up a lot of opportunity for you and so this relationship has the potential to be a big benefit for you and because we have the 12th house here it is likely that you will meet this person during a time when you are either going through a spiritual change so maybe you are going through a spiritual revitalization really getting in tune with yourself really finding out what it is that you believe in really 
getting in touch with those higher realms and also another thing is you can meet this person during a time when you feel very alone you feel very isolated the 12th house is also to me how we spend our alone time and the things that we keep secret and hidden from other people and this relationship may also be something that gets deep down in those depths and really gets into those dark hidden places inside you and really brings them out and cleanses them and so I feel like this relationship is going to be one that's going to be really healing and really beneficial for you and I really feel like this relationship this marriage is one that, that is meant to really bring you to a spiritual purpose and really bring you a lot of emotional abundance and happiness so group three if you like this reading and you would like to see more pick a card readings for me go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know what you thought go ahead and leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time for your next reading thank you so much all right group number four you chose the lapis so let's see who you will marry all right So first off, because we have Mercury, this person may be a Gemini or Virgo sun, moon, or rising, or have a other Gemini Virgo planets. They may also be a life path eight or born on an eight day because we do have the number 17. Overall, this is going to be someone who is a mix of both rational and logical but also emotional and spiritual because we have the moon card and because we have the mercury card they are someone who is going to be a bit of a opposition so they are going to be someone who has two sides to them so part of them is the moon so part of them is very emotional right of course part of them is very nurturing very caring very compassionate very empathetic they maybe have secrets. They maybe have things that they don't want other people to know about them. They are someone who is very moody on occasion. They are someone who is very... They are someone who maybe has a bit of a feminine side to them regardless of their gender. But at the same time, they try to counter this emotion with their logical mind, right? So they try to counter that emotion by rationalizing it. And so the problem is that this person may over-rationalize their emotions. So they're trying to find this healthy balance. And that is probably a big part about what their sole purpose is, is learning the balance between the mind and the emotions. And because of that, they are really learning how to have healthy mindset and how to have healthy perspective and that is something that they are going to teach you that is something they are going to help you so this person because we have the health card they may be instilling healthy habits into your life so these could be of course you know physical habits like these could be good healthy physical routines this could be a good diet or a good you know food routine maybe they're cutting the sugar out of your diet they're cutting the alcohol they're cutting the processed sugar out of your diet you know whatever but this could also be maybe they're helping you with healthy mental routines they're helping you with your affirmations they're helping you feel positive about yourself they're helping you redirect when you know your anxiety is hitting too strong maybe they're helping you with your spiritual routines maybe they're keeping you accountable so this person's going to help you keep help keep you healthy and keep you aligned where you need to be this person of course because we have the visionary card they are someone who strives to create a better world and not only do they strive to create a better world for everyone but they are going to strive to create a better world for you too so for you and your relationship and so they're someone who likely is always trying to create the best possible scenario they may be a little bit of a perfectionist they may be trying to always see things from every angle and every side and always trying to keep things perfect and balanced and harmonized the problem with that is that that is not always capable you're not always capable of doing that and the per the thing about this person is i feel like they're someone who is so smart and someone who is so talented and has so much to offer that they almost don't know what to do with it because we have the visionary card and because they are so capable of being so 
in tune with their intuition and being in touch with their emotions and because they are so psychic naturally and they're so naturally aware of those abilities but they have this strong logical mind to them because they do value knowledge and information and intellectualism and that's part of what makes them the visionary the fact that they have these both sides of their personality but the problem for them is that sometimes they maybe don't know what the right direction is for them or what the right way to go is and so when you meet them you may be meeting them during a time when you are working on your career because we have the 10th house you may also work with them or meet them at a work event this could also be someone who helps you with your work so this could be someone who could help aid you in your career this could also be someone who makes you feel like you are responsible in some kind of sense or maybe you feel like this relationship makes you take on some kind of responsibility and it is likely because we have the 17 which makes an 8 in numerology that this is a karmic relationship so this relationship is fated and meant to come into your life because there are certain lessons that are key for you to learn that are going to help bring you to your highest soul path so overall group number four the person you meet is going to be someone who is both emotional and intellectual they are going to be someone who very much strives to create a better world for not only you and themselves, but all of the world's people as a whole. They may be someone who is very concerned with perfectionism and always like creating the best possible scenario. But I think overall, this is going to be a very happy and emotional and fulfilling relationship for you. So group number four, if you like this reading and you would like to see more pick cards from me, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for my next video. Thank you so much. All right, group number five, you chose the turquoise. So let's find out who you're gonna marry. All right, group five. So right off the bat, this person may be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising because we have the Devil card. This person may also be a Life Path 1 or born on a one day because we have the 37. Yeah, which makes a one in numerology. Who knew I didn't know how to do kindergarten math? So this person is someone who to others may not seem like the picture perfect person, but this is actually someone that you are definitely 100% meant to be with. Because we have the North Node, the North Node is all about where your soul is supposed to be going, it's all about the lessons you're learning in this lifetime, and this person is someone that you are meant to be with. So if anybody out of all these groups, like, are you with the person, are you gonna marry the person you're supposed to? Group five, you got it right. You did. Now, other people might not think that this is the right person all the time, and that is because we have the devil card. And the devil card does signify Capricorn. And so this person, just because it is the devil card, this person maybe have some kind of addictions. They, If they don't have addictions, they may just have issues surrounding their self-worth and surrounding their self-value. And a lot of that is going to be rooted in childhood conditioning, childhood treatment, and childhood environment. A lot of it's going to probably relay to the father because Capricorn is the father archetype in astrology. And so they do have some work emotionally to get through, but this is someone who is really going to teach you the value of character. They're going to teach you the value of overcoming things and really the value of strength and not letting opportunity like not letting lack of opportunity or not letting certain things really get you down because we have the 37 which makes a one this person is someone who at some point had to decide to go and create a new life for themselves they decided that they were going to leave behind the way things were and start anew for themselves because we have the secret card here this is someone who decided that they were going to go off on a journey and this was going to be a journey that was 
going to create a new life for themselves. Now, this could be a journey that is a physical one. So that, of course, they could physically travel. But this also may be a journey that is a mental one. Maybe they had to take a mental journey and take mental, you know, go through mental hoops to really get their mentality to where it needed to be for them to be successful, healthy, and functioning. Maybe they needed to go on a spiritual journey. Maybe they needed to understand why the world is the way that it is, you know? And so for them, this is someone who has gone through a lot of change. This is someone who's gone through a lot of transformation. They have matured a lot and they are going to teach you a lot in this marriage and in this relationship and they are going to be someone who is really loyal and they're going to be someone who is really steadfast and someone that you can depend on and you know what i just saw this right here this card says spiritual spirituality what do i believe in so this person is going to teach you about spirituality and they're really going to show you you know through their own experience and they're really going to stand as a role model for you and because we have the organization card here they're really going to bring structure and stability into your life and that may be something that you want and you crave and they're someone who is going to be able to really help put all the little pieces in order for you they're going to help be that backbone that you need and so this marriage is really going to be someone that you feel like you can rely on and that's going to be important for you so when will you meet this person we have the fifth house so you may meet this person when you were single <clears throat> you are just casually dating you are just having fun you may meet them around children you um maybe meet them at some event surrounding a child surrounding children this could also be someone who started out as maybe like a little bit of a friends with benefits and then it ended up getting more serious maybe you met this person out partying you could have met them at a club at a social event you could have met them um at some kind of fifth house is also art so you could have met them at anything that's an artistic event maybe something at a museum a photography event um concert art show so on and so forth so overall this relationship is really going to be one that comes in and really takes you by surprise and really brings you helps bring you to your highest soul path because once again we have the north node so this is someone that you are meant to be and because of the spirituality on this card and we have seeker here and you know we have the devil right here and we have all these positive cards after it really tells me that this person has really done so much to really overcome the chains that had previously withhold them and really overcome their ego and their morality and their materialism and really give into those spiritual attributes and i feel like this relationship this marriage is really going to teach you a lot and bring you a lot of fulfillment so that's all I have for you, group number five. So if you like this reading and you would like to see more, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for my next video. Thank you.